Today we are on ground hopping duty once again and it is back to London for West Ham United versus Arsenal. It's the return of Declan Rice to the London Stadium for the first time since he did depart West Ham. Of course, here's to hoping that he does get a warm reception, but also doesn't break West Ham hearts. The home side currently sit 8th in the Premier League on 36 points, only 2 points behind Man United in 6th, taking up that last European spot. The home side's form going into this is quite negative. They haven't seen a Premier League win since the 28th of December, and that win coming up against today's opponents, Arsenal at the Emirates. Of course, I did see West Ham last week at Old Trafford against Man United. They were very lacklustre, it's fair to say. A bit flat-footed, lack of energy, lack of inspiration, it seemed. The visitors come into this at third in the Premier League on 49 points. Of course, Liverpool played yesterday. They are five points ahead of Arsenal, but of course, that gap could today be narrowed to only two. Arsenal's form in 2024 has been absolutely fantastic. Their last Premier League loss coming on the 31st of December away at Fulham. Most recently, of course, a 3-1 win on home turf against Liverpool. A huge, huge three points for Mikel Arteta's man, it must be said. Today could be a really interesting one, and I genuinely do think it's going to be tight. Well, you just knew that was going to happen. Can West Ham move into the European spots temporarily, or will Arsenal close the gap to just two points at the top of the league? Only time will tell. Let's head to London and find out.
Alltså det är svårt att se, men jag tycker det ser ut som att han var... an half time West Ham nil Arsenal for it's unbelievable I feel like I'm a bad omen to West Ham at this point two weeks in a row that I've been here now or at a West Ham game should I say and both times they've conceded three plus goals not scored and lost I mean the game's not lost yet but realistically you're thinking with the chances they've had on the back play it's not looking too good um, I think the downfall is that for once again they don't have a striker they should have covered that in January they didn't and that's where the fans frustrations lie of course um, you've also got I think the fact that in that first half it looked like David Moyes had set them up to play kind of an aerial battle which they are losing in defence and attack it's really worrying it really is worrying but Arsenal have been fantastic absolutely brilliant um, Saliba Gabriel brilliant Fox in the box as centre backs it's unbelievable from them once again, aerial battles, they're winning, West Ham are losing, and that's why they're winning the game 4-0. You know, the penalty was a penalty. It looked offside at the time, but evidently it wasn't because VAR ruled it onside. It could be more. So David Moyes has got a massive challenge on his hands to try and claw this game back into slight contention. But realistically, you're probably going to be looking at consolation goals at best. But fingers crossed we do see a bit of a comeback because it's been very, very disappointing so far. But a great game to watch, and Arsenal's been brilliant, so we'll see. Let's go second half.
right down the aisle. Right then, that is it for today's match day vlog. It did end West Ham nil, Arsenal 6. An unbelievable game of football, but unfortunately not for West Ham, of course. As a neutral, it was a really, really enjoyable watch, but I was hoping that it was going to be a bit more even. Like I said in the intro, I felt like it was going to be a tight game and it couldn't have been more wrong. I genuinely do think I'm a bad omen to West Ham at this point, so I'll try not to go to any of their games in the near future. So I apologise, West Ham fans. Fair play to the ones that stayed as well, especially after half time. Those that were staying were trying to make a decent noise as well towards the end. So every Every credit brilliant brilliant fan base but of course completely understandable the fans that left early even i was considering it and i was there as a neutral arsenal on the other hand were absolutely brilliant thoroughly deserved the win and could have had more if it wasn't for some brilliant saves from Ariola. they are seriously stamping their name down as title contenders now they're up there with man city and liverpool i genuinely think they have just about as much chance if not more but yeah that is number 48 out of 92 today for me and fingers crossed i can get a few more cracked off by the end of the season if you did enjoy please do smash like and subscribe that i mean the absolute world get me to 3000 that would really really mean a lot and yeah where should i ground hop to next let me know in the comments have a class rest of the day and i'll see you in the next one